Welcome back to Full Force Nature. Fort Worth, Texas is part of the fifth largest metropolitan area in the United States. Its skyscrapers jump from the plains. At the top of one of the city's highest buildings stands the Riata restaurant. General Manager Todd Lewis always boasted about the view. I'd say it was the ideal location to be in downtown Fort Worth. Being 35 stories high, you had the view of the entire city. But that view would become more terrifying on the spring evening of March 28, 2000. With diners engaging in the amazing view of downtown Fort Worth, an ominous danger appears in the distance. Being in the Bank One Tower, it's a popular location when a huge storm's coming up because you have an eye's view of it. Um, so naturally, uh, all the guests were viewing the storm, watching the storm roll in, seeing the wind being blown around. When we could actually see the funnel cloud coming up, that's when, hey, you know what, we need to get out. It looks like it's coming our way. Just a few miles away, an F2 tornado has already begun its descent on downtown. I've lived in Texas for 40 years now, and I've never seen a tornado before. That's definitely not common. Now, it's a race against time. The twister is heading straight for the restaurant, and Todd and the Riata staff have only one thing on their minds. Get everyone out of harm's way. And we could see it two miles down the way, starting to, you know, destroy buildings. So that's when we decided, hey, let's get everyone into the stairwell. We did have approximately 45 to 50 people dining there, happy hour, businessmen that we had to evacuate when we saw the tornado. That's the benefit of being 35 stories high. You have a clear view of what's coming at you. Stunned diners dart into the stairways. Wait staff and cooks drop whatever they're doing, all mere seconds before the tornado strikes. The destruction that the tornado caused in the restaurant is it blew out 90% of all our windows. Um, and of course, once the windows were blown out, the wind started tearing up all our bars, our furniture, and all our glassware. Blew some chairs out of the windows, so we found some furniture as far as a mile away. Despite the immense destruction, everyone in the restaurant can consider themselves lucky. Yeah, it could have been worse if it would have happened around 4.45, 5 o'clock while everyone's at work or just leaving work, I'm sure the casualty would have been great. After one of the worst urban tornadoes in Texas history, the restaurant picks up the pieces. The tornado was a, an important event in our history. It's something that we'll always talk about. The 35th floor may be a distant memory, but for Todd and the citizens of Fort Worth, the tornado that struck their downtown will always be part of the history that brings their city together. After that day, we saw that nature is a force to be reckoned with.